quickly. Ted Perry joining us now in studio with two things you could do to help you have a longer, healthier life. Ben and Seth, thank you for that. And also, I'm going to ask you two to humor me on something, if you would. You each have in front of you a roll of medical tape. And what I would like you to do is take out about an inch and a half or two inches uh, and, and lay it perpendicular this to your lip. This is okay? <laughs> and just cover it up. Yeah. Okay, what, what are we doing, guys? Just okay. like that. Uh, follow Stephanie's lead there, Ben. Oh, got okay, it. good. Just like that. Okay. Oh. And I want you to keep it there. You got it there, Betty? <laughs> All right. Now I want you to keep it there Don't until smile. my story is finished. And I'm going to tell you why I've asked them to do that on the other side of this piece. Inhale, belly lifts. Good. Of all the services offered at my own studio in Fox Point, a little bit deeper now. Perhaps none are as life changing as the one that you might think at first. Take your left hand and put it on your heart space. Was the one not really needed. So as the breaths come in, maybe count to two or three or four. And then let it out. The one where owner Tracy Schwartz teaches clients how to breathe. Your breath is a gift you give yourself. I mean, how to really breathe. And I want you to use your awareness to try and breathe into just the right ribs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Weird. Yeah. For Schwartz, these sessions are about harnessing the energy that comes with each breath. In and out. And the science backs her up on that. The science. We get most of our energy from our breath. Journalist James Nestor spent the better part of a decade researching why he was having such breathing problems. And the result is a New York Times best-selling book that came out, ironically, just as the world was shutting down because of a respiratory virus. The one good thing, if there's a silver lining, is this pandemic has made people more acutely aware of their breathing and their breathing health. Even before we had to deal with COVID-19, Nestor came to two conclusions about breathing in the modern age. Most of us aren't doing it right and doing too much of it. We're doing anything improperly 25,000 times a day. That's how often we breathe. Our bodies are going to wear down. They're going to break down and not be able to function properly. So how would we manage to screw up a bodily function that we do 9 million times a year? Well, for one, we're often using the wrong body part. Upwards of 50% of the population habitually breathing through its mouth. And this is causing so many problems in our society right now. What kind of problems? As a seven year old, we're really talking about the micro vessels. <gasps> Everything from bad breath to heart disease to depression and headache. Oh, this is the so main sad. patient population we're talking about. And the sooner you nip mouth breathing in the bud, says Marquette physical therapy professor Kathy Lukashevich, the better. I think it gets ignored because we have sort of a not until you're really sick mentality. We don't treat people until there's a full-blown disease. The good news about your bad oh, breathing sure. routine? There's tons that you can do to change it. Priority one, start by being a nose breather. Here's why. When you're breathing through the nose, you're pressurizing air, you're heating it, you're moistening it. We give our air a chance to be humidified on the path into the lungs. So our lungs are, you know, you want some humidity to that air and dry air is harder on your lungs. You're conditioning it so that by the time that air gets to your lungs, your lungs can much better absorb that oxygen. Also, the lining of our sinuses have a mucous membrane that helps trap dust and particles in the air. We get 20% more oxygen breathing through our noses better. than we do through our mouths. You think that's not gonna make a difference throughout the day? At this point of the story, you're probably already consciously trying to breathe through the nose. That's good. Here's the next request. Could you do a lot less of it? In other words, could you take longer and slower breaths all day long? Put your own hands, one on your chest and one on your belly. Now the goal here is to make your stomach, not your chest, expand with the inhale. So if you feel your hand moving, you're what's called a belly breather. You have a more efficient breathing pattern. You're using less energy to get every breath in and out. And you can train yourself by just having your hand here, try to breathe your air in and let your belly hand come out. And the effects of breathing deeper and exhaling more slowly can be felt immediately and last a more healthy lifetime. People say take a breath when you need to relax, but it's actually the exhale 
that we want to focus on. Yeah. Good. Just do what all other mammals do in the animal kingdom. Just do what our ancestors did for millions of years, right? Close your mouth, breathe through your nose, breathe slowly, and just from doing that, you can get so many benefits. Yeah, let it out. The client you saw getting the breathing treatment, she, didn't she came out of the room and said she was more invigorated and more I energized like than she said been in a long time after simply learning how to breathe more efficiently. The results of better breathing can be felt immediately. Okay, now back to you two. You've been good sports. You may take oh. them off now. I can let the record show they kept them on the whole time. And I didn't just do that so you wouldn't talk during my story. Yeah, yeah. I wanted you, and I guess you understand why, to force you breathe through the nose a little bit. Could you feel it? I feel like I'm going to live a short life because I feel like I've been breathing the wrong way. Well, not anymore. Yeah, right. And, and you'll fix that. And you were an elite figure skater. We talked about this. You use breathing techniques through the nose. You understand that getting 20% more oxygen mm -hmm. with each breath so comes in handy. Without a doubt. I mean, you have to slow down your breathing. And a lot of times it takes actually thinking about breathing in order to go ahead and do that. So putting the focus on something that normally is just happening without you thinking about it. Yeah. 25,000 times a day. Let's start doing it right and live a little bit I longer. Thanks for uh, being like participants in this guy. Now, what to do when you're asleep? So well, many snores sleep at night? are actually just mouth breathers. And Nestor I and I sleep, talked I about how to make sure he breathes through his nose, nose while he's in a deep sleep. It's, it's a method I've been stuff trying. Stuff it's been working wonders. And that is on our website, fox6now.com. Guys, who knew something so simple as breathing? Right. All right, Ted. Thank Thanks, you. Ted. Well, it has